thought for the day, brothers and sisters, today I was reading the book of Colossians, Colossians chapter 3, verses 22 and 23, where the Bible speaks about working. Working is unto the Lord, not looking to please people, but God. Work is from God, brothers and sisters. God himself worked six days creating the earth, the world, the universe, and on the seventh day he rested. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6 tells us that you train up a child in the way they should go when they're young. And when they grow old, they won't depart from that way. In my own personal life, I could honestly share this with you all. One thing I'm truly thankful to God for is that my father and mother, God rest their souls, from when I was younger, set in a good example for me about good work ethics. My father was a... Um, heroin addict when he was a lot younger spent some time in prison then he did two years in the army when he came out of the army he went into the 12-step program changed his life and eventually gave his life to jesus christ <clears throat> he worked very hard my father he worked with the sanitation would do private sanitation on the side and i remember when we were growing up in the apartment building we lived in he would even help the super in the morning sweep and mop the floors the hallways and stairwells for a little extra money my mother would work as a secretary at a medical center in 1985 i remember as a 19 year old i was locked up in an institution for a while and every day my mother would work and then come down to where i was to see every day to see if i was okay and go home and then take care of my brother take care of the house she was such a hard worker too my wife, who I've been married to for 27 years now, is a hardworking woman. When my kids were young, she would get up like 5.30, 6 in the morning to prepare breakfast, their clothes, for ready to get ready to go to school. Go work as a bus monitor and work in the kitchen in the school system like where I work as a custodian. Myself, I'm thankful to the Lord for having been able to work now for over 20, almost 28 years now from 1993 to 2005, I worked in a group home for troubled kids. And from 1999 to the present, I've been working in a public school system as a custodian. I did both jobs for about six years, working seven days a week. And until I stopped, just getting too much. But working hard is from the Lord, brothers and sisters. Idleness, the opposite of hard work, gets us in trouble. Second Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 10 to 12. The Bible says that he that does not work should not eat. That God admonishes us to work because when we're idle, we become busybodies. We get ourselves in trouble. In 2 Samuel chapter 11, King David, instead of being at war with his soldiers, stayed back home, started relaxing on the top of his temple, chilling out, so to speak. And his idle mind and his idle eyes started to look on a woman by the name of Bathsheba. And he started to lust after her and eventually took her. She was somebody else's wife, even his own soldier, Uriah. He had a relationship with this woman and eventually even had her husband killed. There's an old saying, an idle mind is Satan's playground. And I learned this lesson, too, in my own personal life, just like King David in 1987, when I was 21 years old. The friend who brought me to Christ a couple years earlier, he died of the AIDS virus. And I remember getting angry with God. I, I, I really do. I was angry at God that he took my friend who brought me to the Lord, discipled me. And I stopped going to church. I stopped reading my Bible like I should have been. My mind was idle spiritually. What happened was there was a 42-year-old woman at my job, twice my age, and she started to have trouble with a guy and came into my office looking for help, and I took her home, and taking her home led to having coffee and dinner, and then, and then it led to a, uh, an affair. And looking back, I could see that I was spiritually idle, just like we could be physically idle, like David, spiritually idle, my, like myself, that gets us into trouble. I've learned my lesson. Now that I do my job at work, I try to do my job with integrity. Um, when even the boss is not there, I try to do my work as unto the Lord, as a custodian. I often think 
that if Jesus was walking into my, my school and had to go use the bathroom, would he find it clean? If he had to go into one of the classrooms to see the little children, would he find that room clean? 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11 says, When I was a child, I thought as a child. But when I grew up, I put childish ways behind me. What I mean by that is, as I learned my lesson from when I was younger, a lot of times at my jobs when I was younger, I would have like an emotional affair. What I mean by that is I never cheated physically on my wife, but when I was younger, sometimes I would be idle at work, not doing what I should be, and start conversations with women at the job. And you know, and then you, your mind takes you places, brothers and sisters, because you're not careful that you don't want to go to. That is why now, as I've gotten older, as I said, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11 says, when we were children, we thought as children, but when we grow older, we put childish ways behind us. I look at my daughters, they're 22 and 19 years old. If they're still acting and talking like they were when they were five and two, there's something wrong. There's something cognitively, mentally, emotionally wrong with them. And it's the same way spiritually, brothers and sisters. I was saved in 1985 when I was 19 years old. Now, at 54 years old in 2020, I shouldn't be thinking and acting like I did back then. We grow spiritually just as we grow intellectually and physically. And in this area of work, I really try to do my job with integrity and character as unto the Lord. Many years ago, I used to get these t-shirts, these Christian slogans, and one of the t-shirts I remember getting years ago, I actually still have it in my closet, is from Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. When we do our work, we do it as unto the Lord. Most importantly, than more than physical work, is the spiritual work. I am so thankful to God the last few years to be able to do these devotional videos, getting up early in the morning, getting in the Word, coming out here mostly time, most of the times in this wooded area, not too far from where I live, and sharing the Word of God with you, brothers and sisters. If I could help someone, encourage someone in the Lord, it is a blessing. And it's not about me. I often try to quote the scriptures as much as I can so that you can look at the Bible verses for yourselves and grow in your relationship with the Lord and give honor to God through Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58 tells us that our labor in the Lord is not in vain. God bless you all, my brothers and sisters, this day. Stay strong in the Lord. Be a good worker wherever you are, whatever vocation you have in life, where you are, where God has you. Do it as unto the Lord with integrity and character. God bless.